AI and machine learning are all the rage right now, and so I decided to build an AI to predict the stock market. I figure if sentient AI is going to kill us, I might as well make some money from it first. And also, I know that this project has been done before, but I hope that this video gives a bit of a unique perspective on how to do it. Alright, so skip to this timestamp if you just want to see the results of my AI, but now I'm just going to do some brief explaining of how I actually built this. So first things first, I built this program in Python, which is my main language, and I used the spider IDE, it's pretty famous. Anyways, so this AI, I guess you'd say, or machine learning program is built on linear regression, which is relatively simple in the field of machine learning. Uh, basically, it takes uh, a set number of variables to predict another variable. And in this case, the variables are the opens, lows, highs, and closes of any stock that you specify. So what it does is it essentially analyzes years into the past, uh, the daily opens, lows, and highs, and how those affect the closes. Currently, I'm working on making it um, able to predict further in the future, but that's its own complicated program. To be honest with you, the bulk of this program is, well, <laughs> look at a bunch of import statements, but also uh, just handling the data set and uh, extracting it from the huge, 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 very com complicated nested lists and stuff. So anyways, let's just take it for a spin. So if I were to type, okay, so what stock? Here you can just input any stock. So let me just say Google. And as you can see, uh, that must be yesterday's close and this is today's predicted close. Anyways, it's results time. So it is the next day and today we are going to be looking at the results. So I actually took a screenshot of the predicted thing. I can just put that up on the screen right now so that you know that I'm not lying or anything. Uh, and these are the predicted closes. These are the actual closes. I put the difference and I tried to calculate the percentage error and accuracy, but I, I don't actually don't know if uh, they're right. Anywho, so we tested out with uh, five companies, Facebook, Google, Alibaba, AMD and Amazon. So as you can see, these are the actual closes for today. Um, and we can see the difference. So the biggest difference, which is really bad, and I've never ever seen that before, is 41, uh, negative 41. By the way, they all seem to be negative. So that means that my AI is sort of like undershooting a little bit. Um, so, and the smallest difference was 0 0.25. But then if you look at the actual volumes of these things, it sort of makes sense because the two biggest differences happen to the two companies, Google and Amazon, with the largest volumes. So it, it does sort of make sense. And if we look at the percentage errors, you see that, yeah, there's not much deviation. So that's good. Um, I, I think that these results are quite good, actually. I mean, um, the fact that they're all undershooting means that we can probably optimize it a bit, you know, make it... Um, uh, predict a little bit higher and it'll probably be really accurate then. So this AI definitely has a lot of potential. I'm really excited uh, to work on it more and it was a really fun project. You should try it too. And just to end this video, I just want to give a bit of a disclaimer. Obviously there are a lot of problems with using AI or machine learning to predict the stock market. Uh, first of all, classical economic theory claims that the market is 100% efficient and is therefore completely unpredictable. And there is some truth in that. Uh, secondly, there are often outside factors to a stock success. It could be a scandal, could be social media, etc. This was more of a fun project and you probably definitely could use an AI to supplement your decision making when buying stocks. And if you want to make your own AI to predict the stock market, I've left some really helpful links and resources in the description that you can just check out. Tell me how you approach and solve the problem and how that affects the results. That'd be really interesting to hear.